Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm here with you very barefaced because I have another foundation review for you guys. So today I'm gonna be reviewing and talking about the Makeup Forever Face and Body Foundation. Now I wanna do this one really quickly because I wanna get it out of the way before I change color for the winter like a chameleon. I've been using this for a while now. Um, it's been about two, three months I've been using it um, because I really wanted to find different ways or the perfect way for me to apply this and wear it and how it wears is my first face and body foundation ever. Um, there are other brands that do make face and body foundations, but so far I have fallen in love with this one and I'm not gonna go, I mean, I might try others, but this is probably gonna be holy grail summer foundation for me because it held up so well and it did such an amazing job in the summer heat. Now let's talk about this foundation for a little bit before I go ahead and do the demo. Also with this foundation, you're gonna have to shake the crap out of it before you do anything else. Now, the Makeup Forever Face and Body Liquid Makeup Foundation is 80% water, which is awesome for those of us that have, you know, uh, problem skin or those from mature skin, this is really good. And the gel texture of the Face and Body Foundation, it gives a light, fresh, you know, kind of smooth texture to the skin and it evens out the complexion and leaves like a thin layer of powder on the skin for a very natural finish. So as always, I'm gonna, you know, zoom in my face so you guys can see it. Now I know you guys are gonna say this is kind of dark, but it does match my neck area for the summer months. I got a nice, beautiful tan. I prefer 46 over 45 because 45 was giving me more of like a richer, you know, look to my skin, it was weird. So this one was a lot better. It gives my skin like this nice even texture without accentuating any fine lines. So as always, there's no primer, only moisturizer on my skin. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I apply this. Now I start on one side of my face. I've had a couple of breakouts since I've been in the Bahamas. I, my skin just went nuts. So you guys can see how smoothly that applies. Now I like to apply this in sections. I do not dot it all over my face. Whatever section I'm working on, that's the section that gets the most attention at the time. It just glides on and it's so easily, you know, spread on. It does work well for the body. Obviously it's face and body. So this is what it looks like. Once it goes on, I prefer to use my fingers because I notice when I use a sponge, obviously since this is, you know, 80% water, the sponge is going to soak it up. But Makeup Forever does make a special sponge that doesn't soak the product up as much as a regular sponge would. So if you need a sponge, I'd suggest that sponge. I'm going to link that sponge um, name, the link to it down in the description bar if you're interested in that. Okay. Let me start on this side. As you can see, I had a massive breakout on this side. So I'm going to show you the coverage down there. And I just smooth this on my fingers. Make sure your fingers are clean. You know, you washed your hands before you, you do any of this stuff. <laughs> has been given a chance to dry I do find that it does give you a nice satin finish to the skin and I do go over any sections that I feel need a little bit more attention I do take it down my neck I would take it down the neck and behind this area I notice people do forget that area when they're applying foundation sometime. This foundation is waterproof. It is ultra light. You know, it's really light on the skin. I had someone walk up to me in a store and ask me what I was using on my skin because it looked so amazing. And I was like, this one right here. She thought it was my skin. And I'm like, I wish my skin could look how it looks when the foundation is on. But I'm getting there, you know. Once I get to any deep scarring, I do like to pat it and not rub it. Now, I will say, you're not rubbing this into the skin. You're just gliding your hands, as you saw. I'm only using two fingers. I'm just gliding the foundation over my skin. 
So any deep set in areas, I just pat it in. Anything that I know are problem areas, I just pat the foundation in. I do find this foundation is also great for large pores. Um, it doesn't accentuate my pores at all. It kind of fills them in actually. See how it just gives me a nice natural finish? Like you can still see scarring there. Like those of you, you know, who know me and see me in person, you know I have the scarring. So it just gives you a nice natural finish. You see the scarring there, but it's not as prominent. It's not as dark. It's not as it's not as problematic. So it covers the scar, but you know, the, the texture of it's still there, so it still looks like skin. Since it does leave a thin layer of powder, you don't have to set it if you don't want to, if you don't see the need. Um, but I do set mine. I would either use my MAC Prep and Prime translucent platter, or I'll go ahead and use the Cover FX matte setting powder in dark. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my face and come right back. Alright you guys, so now that the rest of my makeup is on, and this is a very bright lip, I'll put down in the um, description what I have on, but let me, let me, let's recap with this. It's already on the skin. What I love about it is, again, it's water-based, um, but do shake it up before you put this on your face because um, you really want to get those pigments going in here. It's water-based gel foundation. Best to apply with the fingers very lightly um, just to get the most natural look when applying this and not to waste product. Um, when using this because it is kind of pricey. Um, I will say that what I really love about it is it allows for facial distinctions to show through. Like if you've got a mole or you know things that you you know want people to see to make your skin look as natural as possible but with nice coverage. Um, this is light to medium but buildable to full if you wanted to. You really can build it up. So, But I'd say more medium than anything else. It does give you a satin finish but it does leave a nice thin layer of powder um, once you allow it to set for a little bit before you set it with powder if you wish to do that. This foundation does not oxidize on me. The lasting power is amazing. Um, I've worn this up to about 10 hours before. My face still looked like how it looks now, like it was freshly done. If you're gonna go ahead and pick this up, I do suggest going in store just to get the best match for your skin. Because like I said, there was a color that was close to my skin, but then it just made me look a little too rich. So do go ahead, you know, your local Sephora, or if you can find a Makeup Forever Boutique in your area, go in and get matched for this foundation. You do need it in your arsenal. Every single one of you guys need to have this on your vanity, especially when the summer comes around and you wanna look flawless, but you don't wanna look like a cake face. All right, you guys, so that is it for my Makeup Forever face and body foundation review and demo. I do hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, again, if you're looking for a long wearing foundation that's light on the face, that looks like skin when you're done, go ahead and get this stuff, you guys. I kid you not, you're gonna love it, you're gonna enjoy it, and it's gonna probably be a holy grail for you guys because it is for me. All right, thanks so much for watching and subscribing if you have. Bye.